The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, seventh chapter, text number two, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 10th, 1975, in London, England. I shall now declare unto you in full this knowledge, both phenomenal and nominal, by knowing which there shall remain nothing further to be known. Jnanam te aham sabi jnanam idam bhakshami asi saka das gatya neho bhuyannas jnatabbam abhasisate So, Krishna is personally speaking about himself as we understood in the previous bhag that Asangsayam samagraṁ ma jathāgāśasī tachinu. Asangsayam, without any doubt, uh, if we speculate uh, about God, that will uh, never be sufficient. Not even we can touch the blessings of the knowledge. If we want uh, knowledge without any doubt, asamsa, samagram, and complete, then we must hear from God Himself. This is very easy to understand uh, by hypothesis by speculation, you cannot understand anything. It must be known scientifically, and this science can be understood. A person knows the science. So who can know God better than God Himself? Therefore, uh, our process is, we have repeatedly explained this, that we do not speculate about God. It's like there are so many others, theosophists and theologists, they speculate what is God. They don't accept God Personally explaining, uh, they would not accept. They would simply speculate. Uh, this is their disease. Uh, when God is explaining Himself in the Bhagavad Gita, rather they mislead the uh, readings of the Bhagavad Gita in different interpretations, but they will not accept what is being taught by God Himself. This is their misfortune. Why shall I uh, accept Krishna as God? Although He has proved Himself when He was present by the qualification which God needs uh, to become God is not easy thing. Uh, there are some qualifications. Yesterday we discussed that he must be the richest. He must be the most powerful. He must be the most famous. He must be the most learned. He must be the most beautiful. And he must be the most renowned. This is the definition of God. Uh, the poor man begging from door to door, uh, he cannot become God, as it is misconceived. Daridra Nara. Why Nara can be Daridra? What is this nonsense? He is the richest. Huh? He is the richest. 
I why he can he can uh, he will be Daritra. Uh, the argument is forward uh, that God is everyone's heart. Therefore everyone is God. What is this argument? Uh, uh, everyone's heart, God is there. God says Ishara Sarvabhutana Mridesha Arjuna Tishtad. Uh, where, where God says that because Ishara, the Supreme Being, is situated in everyone's heart, therefore everyone is God. What is this argument? Where Krishna says that because Ishara, Sarvabhutana Mridesha Arjuna Tishtati, therefore everyone is God. Is that a very sound argument? Huh? Uh, this is why uh, they do not know what is God, and still there are so many incarnations of God, and foolish people accept that here is an incarnation of God. He does not know what is God, and he accepts here is. We do not do so. If there is incarnation of God, that is mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam, their activities are mentioned, wonderful activities. Uh, we accept Lord Ramchandra and God, Lord uh, Krishna as God, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as God, because they are mentioned in the Shastras, uh, all the incarnations, even this age, uh, one may say that Lord Ramchandra is accepted, God. Lord Krishna is also accepted. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, he is the greatest devotee of God, but there are some persons in the Nimmarka Sampradaya. They put this argument. Uh, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, name is there in the Shastra. Many Upanishads, especially in the Srimad Bhagavatam, that in the Kali this incarnation of God should be worshipped. What is that description? Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna Sang Pangasta Pasadam Jagdai Shanki Tanai Prajai Jaganti Hi Sumedasa. <coughs> Clearly, Chaitanya. Krishna Varnam Tisha of Krishna. He is Krishna or Krishna Varnayati. Iti Krishna Varnam. Srila Jiva Goswami, the most authoritative acharya of our sampradaya, he has explained like this. Krishna Varnam means always chanting Hare Krishna. Krishna Varnayati, describing Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. This is description of Krishna. Uh, addressing Krishna. So therefore Krishna Varnam or Varna means category. <coughs> That's like Brahman Varna, Kshatriya Varna. So in that sense Krishna Varna means is Krishna in the category of Krishna. Either you take this meaning or that meaning, Krishna Varna. But Krishna is black and he is Tisha, by the complexion of Krishna. Of Krishna means not Krishna. But there are so many colors. Uh, so everything is of Krishna. Uh, that color, all the colors are mixed together, it becomes black. Otherwise, there are many different colors. So of Krishna means 
uh, different color, not Krishna, not black. So what is the actual that you have to refer to Shastra again? The Krishna in how many categories of color he appears? That is stated in the Bhagavatam. When uh, Krishna was born, then Gargumani was calculating about his horoscope, and he said to Nanda Maharaj that this your child, Idanim Krishna Tangata, Sukla Raptasthapita, Idanim Krishna Tangata. Your child had uh, formerly white color. Uh, white color, uh, sometimes some critics criticize us that Krishna everywhere is black. Why in your temple white? But it is said that Sukla, Sukla, Rakta, Tatha, Pita, Idanim, Krishna, Tāgata, your son had other colors also, white and red and yellow, and now he has assumed black is color. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Pisa of Krishna, he is not blackish. Then he must be other four, Shukla, Rakta, Pita. So he assumed the Pita, yellow is color. Therefore, Tisha, Akrishnam, uh, Tisha means by complex self. So Krishna Varnam, Krishnam Varnayati, Hiti Krishna Varnam, or Krishna Hiti Krishna Varnam, and Tisha by complexion of Krishna, Pita. Idani, Pita Varnam. Pita Varana Gora. Golden Avatar. And Sangha Panga Saparsadam is always surrounded by associates, especially by Sri Advaita Garadha, Sivasadi, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, is Krishna, then Nityananda, then Advaita, then Gadara, then Sivas, and many other devotees, all as followers. That is the life of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Wherever he went, many followers chanting Hare Krishna, plus this principal associates, where is he? Therefore, Sangha Pangasta Parsa. And this Sangha Upanga, where he is Astra. Astra, Astra means weapon. Uh, God in advance for two purposes. Uh, what are the two purposes? Puritrana and Sadhunam, just to give relief and deliver the devotees. The devotees are always anxious to see God. So God comes down to give relief to the devotee being present before them. Paritrana uh, <coughs> and another Vilasaya to Duskita to annihilate the demons. So that for annihilating, for killing, you require weapon. Krishna had his weapon, Sudarshan Chakra. Lord Lam Chandra has his weapon, bow and arrow. What is the weapon of Sri Chaitanya Mahārāda? Sāṅga Pāṅga Asupārsadam. His associates are his weapons. This is Asupārsadam. Because in the Kali Yug they are so fallen, even though they are demons, they are third class, fourth class demons. 
So they are, they need not be killed. They are already killed. Uh, they are mode of life, they are um, atmosphere. They are always dead. Uh, that is just like we see so many demons. So what is there to kill them? They are already killed. They have no life. So this killing process in Kaliju is to kill their demonic propensities. And how to kill their demonic propensities? By spreading Hare Krishna movement. This is also. Otherwise to kill them is not. By life it is not difficult. One slap is sufficient. So don't require other weapons. But real Krishna comes to kill or to give protection because he is absolute. It is the same thing. If he is killing some demons, he is giving in protection. He stops his demonic activities further to implicate himself in more trouble. Therefore, when Krishna kills one demon, that means he saves him. He saves him. The absolute, there is absolute. Either he, he protects his devotee or kills the demon, the result is the same. Therefore he is called absolute. So, in this age, Kali to kill the demons means to stop their demonic activities by the astra, uh, kirtan, harishan kirtan, which is spread by his associates. Nityananda Prabhu, Adraita Prabhu, Srivasadi, Bhavur Bhakta Vrinda, they are going door to door, country to country, city to city, uh, and saving the demons from <coughs> being implicated more and more in material existence. Uh, therefore, this is the Astra. Uh, Astra means the killing. The so, uh, real purpose is living entity is eternal. How we can be killed? Nahannate hannamane sarire. To kill means to kill his demonic nature. Otherwise, how can we kill? Jai Vang, there is verse, anyone who knows that the living entity is never killed, and a living entity does not kill anyone, neither a living entity is ever killed. One who knows this, he knows. That is the position. So killing does not mean that the, uh, killing the living entity. That is not possible. Najayatanam yati va. Killing means to killing, to kill his demonic activity. Stop. Killing means stop, active. So, Sangupangas parsadam. This is the description of the God, Krishna, in this age. That is Chaitanya Mahārāda. Krishna Vannam, Tisha Krishna, Sangha Pāṅgāsta Pārsakam. And how to worship Him? What is the process? Jaggai Sankīrtanai. That's all. We keep Chaitanya Mahāprabhu's deity and chant and dance. Your life is happening. So is uh, we are worshiping Radha Krishna. That is very difficult. But if we keep Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, with his associate, the sponsor Tattva, uh, Gaur Nitai, Gaur Gadadhar, or Panchamrakta, and worship him according to this Shastra description. <coughs> 
विषय शास्त्र डिस्क्रिप्शन है जगई संपीतम दिस इज जग लाइफ इज मेन फॉर परफॉर्मिंग जग भगवत गीता इज से जग्ञार्थे कर्म यू आर वेरी बिजी यस यू शुड बी बिजी ऑल एज ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स फॉर व्हाट पर्पज जग्ञार्थे नॉट फॉर योर सेल्फ गाड़ी बिजी दैट इज गुड जग्ञार्थे कर्म कर्म वी आर नॉट डल मैटर वी हैव गॉट आवर फ्लेक्सीबल हैंड्स एंड लेग टू वॉक पीपुल थिंक दैट दिस कृष्ण कॉन्शियस मैन हरि कृष्ण पीपुल देर एस्केपिंग हरि दर एस्केपिंग वी आर नॉट एस्केपिंग वी आर प्रैक्टिकली टेकिंग द रियल एक्टिविटी और हम दृष्टा निवर्त करते ऑल दो पीपुल सी दैट वी डू नॉट वर्क we do not go to the factory we do not to the mine we do not go to the uh, so many so many things our uh, professional uh, we do not become lawyer engineer uh, they say that you escape uh, no you see we are all is busy uh, 24 hours busy uh, i am old man i have eight years still i am busy I'm traveling all over the world, writing book at night, talking with visitors, and so many things you can see. So why we are escaping? Uh, we are the most responsible worker. <coughs> uh, so the what is the difference? The difference is all people are engaged for sense gratification. we are engaged for satisfy krishna but activity is there so when you engage yourself <coughs> for satisfaction of krishna jogya means satisfaction of krishna or vishnu vishnu aradhate pungsha nanna tattu sukaranam this is called jogya vishnu or jogya means वर्षिपिंग लॉर्ड विष्णु तत्तोष कारण वैक्टिंग फॉर ही सैटिस्फैक्शन टू सॉम इन सैटिस्फैक्शन एंड इन आर अदर प्लेस इट इज ऑल्सो सेल तपुन भी दिज श्रेष्ठ वर्णाश्रम विभाग से सानुष्ठित पुंस सानुष्ठित पुंस सानुस्थित धर्म से संसिद्धि हरिपोष एवरी वन हेज गॉट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटीज फॉर्मली इट वॉज डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर द ब्राह्मण एक्टिविटी द क्षत्रिय एक्टिविटी द वैश्य एक्टिविटी एंड द शुद्र एक्टिविटी now it has been developed at the present moment so many but if you again collect all of them they will come to the same categories or divisions uh, some intelligent class of men they are working day and night uh, about understanding the absolute truth all the truth just like the theosophies the philosophy philosophers the uh, theologists the scientists so many brain workers they are working to discover better way of life how to how the human society should be more and more happy so this is the work of the brahmanas uh, but now there is the, the brain is uh, not utilized for understanding brahma but for uh, understanding the ways of higher standard of life says that we anyway that is intelligent one next the administrative one 
next the productive work, and next the kvartha, general work. The same Brahman, Khatri, Vaishya, Sundra. So, <coughs> Bhagavad Gita recommends that you work for Krishna. If you are in India, so you use your talent how to construct a very wonderful temple for Krishna. That will be success of your learning in India. Sānuṣṭhita dharmasya Anyone has got a particular talent, so how to make that talent successful? That sānuṣṭhita dharmasya saṅśuddhi harito sanam If you are very first class in India, you construct such a wonderful temple for Krishna then people from all the world will come to see it. Then you are successful. Training, uh, <coughs> line of education, you cannot take it, but use it for Krishna's satisfaction. Then your education is perfect. Otherwise, samaya vahi kevalam, simply uh, working uselessly and waste of time. Uh, that is it. So yoga, that is yoga. When you work for Krishna, to satisfy Krishna, that is yoga. Yoga uh, does not mean that simply by performing fire sacrifices, and offering little ghee upon it. No, that is yoga. That is ordinary yoga. Uh, <coughs> Agnihotra yoga. But the real purpose of yoga is the same purpose in the, in the fire sacrifice we offer the food grains. That means the Supreme Lord is eating through fire. So, eating is satisfaction. So, Krishna is not satisfied only by eating. He has got other senses also. Krishna is not Nirakha. And Krishna, you satisfy any sense of Krishna, you are, you are successful. And He can satisfy anything through any sense. Uh, angāṇī jasya sakalindya vitti mantra. Uh, so this is the called yagya. Yagya. So yagya has to be part of it. Saho yagya puja sushya. And the Bhagavad Gita is fine. The, all the living entities were especially the human being, the demigods. Demigods were first created, the seven deceased. They created later on. Kivang Vivasati Yuga, Yugang Pratvang, Vivasana Manove Praha. The sun god was created, then from him Manu came, from Manu Ithaka came, Ithaka in this way. So, all these prajas, progeny, was created for performing yoga. That is stated in the So everyone is meant for performing yoga. Yagyarthi, uh, karma. Everyone should work for performing yoga. That is human life. Uh, work very hard. You have got tendency to work from, from morning six to night, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, we see. Uh, early in the morning the road is congested. They are going to work. But they do not know why they are working. Uh, 
they know why I'm watching or feeling on this belly. That they know. No, that is not the purpose of what. For feeling of the belly, the animals dance, the cats, dogs, birds, they are also working. And you shall also work for feeling of the belly only. Then what is the value of your life? Huh? You should work for yoga. That is human life. Jagyārtha karma. I don't like yoga. Then karma bandhana. We are becoming entrapped, working under the influence of certain material modes of nature. Therefore, you are infecting that material mode of nature, and according to the infection, it develops the next body. Just like according to infection, you develop the disease. So this material body is disease that we do not understand. We are soaping this material body, keeping it fit. But we do not know that this is disease. Anyone, does anyone want to keep the disease? And say, my dear disease, please live with me forever. Is there any intelligent man say like that? Disease is to be cured, is to be demonized. Uh, in, in Hindi they say, jar ar par ko khane ko na do bhagyaya. And an unwanted guest and disease, if do not give him to eat and he will go out. He will go out. So any disease, you start for few days, two days, three days, it will go. And any unwanted guest, if you don't supply him food, he will automatically go. So disease should not be maintained. Disease should be cured. So that curing medicine, we have to take, not to maintain this material body. This is real intelligence. Everyone is trying to keep this body, this disease, maintain. This, this time, next time, next time, next time, going on. Janma mitru maran mala. This is not right. This is, should be cured. Uh, that was Shastra says, Nurang pramatta kuruti vikarama jat indriya pritae aprinoti nasadhumanne jata atmanayam klesata asa deha asannapi. People are mad. And they are doing anything mischievous, sinful. And what is the purpose? Not just to satisfy the senses. You see? There are so many nice food stuff. Krishna has given fruits, flowers, grains, milk, butter, sugar, and you can prepare hundreds and thousands of preparation out of it and offer to Krishna and eat it very nicely. No, we must have meat. This is vikarma. Vikarma means sinful activity. Karma, vikarma, and tena da tena bhundita. God has given you so many nice food stuff. Why should you kill an animal? Therefore, Jesus Christ says, Thou shalt not kill. Uh, then shall I die? No. There are so many things to eat. Tena uh, daktena. Whatever is ordained by you, by God, Krishna, the same thing is said. Krishna should have said, Give me mansam dimmam. No. He said, 
Patram Pusma, Param Tiyo. Jogri Matrapati. So this is Jagva, to satisfy Krishna. So if he offer Krishna these things, what he wants, he will satisfy. Jomi Bhakta Pujachati, Bhakta with Bhakti, Krishna said. So why don't you do this? There is Jogva. Everyone can perform Jogva at home because they are eating. Who is there? He is not eating. Everyone is eating. But uh, if you prepare within these items, patram pustam phalam toyam, and prepare nice varieties of food stuff and offer to Krishna, that is jagga. That is jagga. And jagga sista sino santa mucchanti sarvukilmus. If you take prasadam, Krishna will not eat everything. He will eat and he will leave for you also. So don't be afraid that if I offer Krishna, he will take her. <laughs> Krishna is not so hungry. Uh, even if he is hungry, uh, he, he can eat the whole universe. Uh, so just satisfy Krishna. Sir, it is all given by you. These food grains, these fruits, flowers, it is your gift. So you first of all taste or eat, then actually. Krishna is very satisfied. So we want Krishna's satisfaction. Sānuṣṭhita-sa dharmasa saṃsiddhi paritojanam. You have cooked very nicely. And if Krishna says, yes, it is very nice, then you are cooking is perfection. Saṃsiddhi harito Say, so do anything. If Krishna is satisfied, that is yoga. That is yoga. And one should leave for that purpose. Jagyarthi, karmanatra, lupa, what? Very hard. But Jagyarthi. And if you work so hard like ass and cats and dog, simply for satisfying your tongue or belly or the genital, a straight line, then you are going to hell. Jagyarthi karma, anratra karma bandhana. Then you are becoming bound up by the laws of nature. Uh, if you eat and sleep and act like dog, then become dog, next life. And if you act like God, then you never God. Very easy thing. So what is, whatever you like, you can do. But the Shastra gives you a direction. Jagyat is act, work, work hard. For pleasing the Supreme Lord, Jagdarthi. Otherwise, you will be bound up in the <coughs> cycle of birth and death. Don't do it. Uh, so, this Krishna consciousness movement is teaching this education. That performed, you cannot escape it. You cannot say that you are interested, you can do. We are not interested. If you are not interested, then you are living a very risky life. Because you have to change your body. Dehantaram. Huh? <coughs> you can see there are examples of so many types of body. Uh, and suppose if you Leave at the risk of your life, and next life you become a tree, a standard, uh, for five thousand years in the uh, snow, scorching heat, scorching uh, blasting, and so many disturbances, and you cannot move an inch, and 
people may cut down you, your leaves, your trunk, or you, they are cutting so many. What is that like? And if you think, no, I am living for five thousand years. What is the use of living? Such five thousand years? Huh? No. Don't risk life. Karma bandana. Uh, if you don't perform yoga, if you don't try to satisfy the Supreme Lord, uh, just like if you don't try to satisfy the government, then it is your risky life. You cannot say that I am living very happily. Because you are cheating government or do not following the laws of the government, that is very risky life. Similarly, if you do not perform yoga, you cannot avoid saho yoga puja sista. You are, uh, you have got this human form of life for performing yoga. Uh, so in this age and kaliju, it is very difficult to perform other yoga. Therefore uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna has appeared to accept your yoga to deliver you. And the yoga process is very easy. Yagvai sankirtanai. That's all. Simply perform. Wherever you live, at home or outside home, just keep a picture of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and chant Hare Krishna mantra before him, then your life will be successful. Thank you very much. All right.